Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a shadow Mewtwo from Pokemon. I'm gonna get started at the top of my page with the upper eyelid. So let's start on the left side of center and draw a curve from the outside. We'll curve down and then just pull that in. Now I just wanna create a little space in the center here. Line up the inside of the eye. Curve up and out towards the right. Now we're gonna tuck the lower part of the eye underneath the eyelid. So on the end, I just wanna step in, just draw a curve coming down and then I'm just gonna pull that up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, we'll curve down, and we'll just pull that up towards the top of the eyelid. Now we're gonna tuck two half ovals underneath the eyelid for the iris. So starting up here on the left, come down towards the bottom, leaving a little bit of space at the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw a smaller half oval and fill that in black for the pupil. Just above the eyes, we're gonna draw two large horns. So let's start above the inside edge of the eye. We're gonna step up, curve over the eye, and then we'll curve in the opposite direction and go up. Do the same thing on the right. So stepping over, curve over the eye, and then we'll just pull it up at the end. Now from these two points, I just wanna curl out the end. So on the left, we'll just curve up and out towards the left. And the same thing on the right. From the ends, we're gonna curve down just beside the top edge of the eye. Starting on the left, we'll curve in and then down, leaving a little bit of space. Do the same thing on the right side. From the bottom to the horn, we're gonna curve around the eyes in towards the middle, leaving space in the center here. So let's start on the left, curve out around the eye, and we'll pull that down and then into right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving around the eye, and pulling it down and then in. In this space down here, I wanna add the front edge of the nose. So we're gonna step up, curve down and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve, coming down and then back up. On either side, we're gonna add a little hook for the nostrils. And then just above here, we're gonna draw a little curve just for the bridge of the nose. Now we're gonna complete the top of the head. So this curve here on the side of the head is gonna go in behind the horn, go up in the middle, and then down on the right side. Now that we get the head, let's move down and draw on the neck. So from this bottom corner of the chin, we're gonna curve down and then pull it out towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw on the two shoulder blades. From this corner on the left, we're gonna curve down and then in towards the middle, leaving a space in the center. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now moving back towards the left side, we're gonna draw on the outer edge. So from this point here, we're gonna step in, curving up and out towards the left. Now I'm gonna draw a little socket for the little horn. Let's draw a curve coming down and then back up. We're gonna connect that point with a curve coming down towards that inside point. Now let's do the same thing on the right side. So lining up the inside, we're gonna curve up, then out. Now we're gonna curve around for the socket and go up. Now we connect those two points with a curve. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Let's draw the horn on the left side. From the inside corner of the socket, we're gonna curve up and out. And we're gonna pull that down towards the outer point of the socket. Now on the right side, it's the larger horn here. So we're gonna start on the inside again. We're gonna curve up to right about there. And then we're gonna pull that down towards the outside of the socket. I'm gonna add two smaller horns on the back side here. So about halfway down the inside of this horn, we're gonna curve up and in, and we'll curve down and then in behind that shoulder blade. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and in, we'll curve down and then behind the shoulder blade. Let's continue working our way down the body. So on the left side here, at the bottom of this blade, we're gonna step down, leaving a gap, and we're gonna draw a curve coming down and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right. So lining this up, we'll curve down and then in. Now we're gonna round out the hips. From this point, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going down and out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now in between here, I'm just gonna add a curve for the chest. Leaving a little space, curve up and then down. On the right side here, I'm gonna draw a large oval with an open end at the bottom for the thigh. 
So let's start at the bottom of the hip, curve around and in. Now we're gonna pull this back out to right about there. I'm gonna leave a little space on the bottom here, so we're gonna work our way in the opposite direction, starting from the top, curving around, and then down. From the left hip, we're gonna curve around the belly and then back in behind the thigh. So let's go around, and then we're just gonna pull that back in near the bottom of the thigh and curve it back up. Right up in here, I'm just gonna draw a curve for the abdomen. Starting on the side, we're gonna continue this curve, going up in the middle, and we'll pull that back down on top of the thigh. Now the left thigh is gonna get tucked in behind the body, so let's line up the tops of the thigh. Right up here, we're gonna curve out and then back in. Curve out the thigh. Now we're just gonna pull that in to right about there. Let's move in towards the inside of the leg. So right underneath the abdomen, curve out, and then back over towards the right. We're gonna draw the large toe. So stepping down, we draw almost like a circle, going around and then up, leaving a little space on the inside. Now from here, we're gonna work our way towards the toe. We'll curve out towards the left, coming down. I'm just gonna swirl this around, the first toe and then back. Now we're gonna stack another toe in behind here. So at the bottom of this toe, we're gonna curve around and then pull this back in, leaving a little space. Now from here, I'm gonna draw on the front of the shin coming up underneath the thigh. I wanna leave a little overlap here. So we're gonna curve in and just pull that out. Now let's move back over towards the right side. So at the bottom of the thigh here, we're gonna step out, curving down and back over towards the left. Now right here, we're gonna add the first toe. So we step across, go over the line, curve the bottom of the toe, and then now we're gonna pull this back up. Now on this side, we're gonna flip this over in the opposite direction. Starting in the center, curve down, out. Now I'll just pull this over on top of the toe. Now at the top of this curve, we're gonna curve back in underneath the thigh. So the leg gets thinner as we come towards the knee. So we're gonna curve over and then in behind. Now right back here, we're gonna see the little toe in behind here. So on the side of the shin, draw almost like a half circle tucked in behind the toe. Let's move back up and draw in the arms. So we're gonna continue the curve of the neck coming in behind this blade. We're gonna hook it down over towards the left. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So this curve will go in behind the blade, curving out and then down. Now let's draw in the outer part of the arm. From here, we're gonna curve out and then back in towards the elbow. Now underneath the body here, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, leaving a little space in the elbow area. Curving over towards the left like that. We'll do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then down. Now we're going to line up the inside part of the arm, curving down and then back over towards the right. Now going back towards the left side, we're going to draw on the outer part of the arm. From this elbow point, we're going to curve out the forearm and then down. Now we're going to layer the fingers across this way. So we're going to step in, curve over that line. Now we're going to swirl this around, almost like drawing a circle. Pull that in to right about there. Now we're gonna stack the fingers in behind. So at the bottom of this thumb, curve around. Now again, we're gonna curl this around like a circle. Now right here, we're gonna curve it back in. Now let's draw on the second finger. Curving around, again, almost like drawing a circle. We're gonna loop this back around. Now at the top of the finger, we're gonna curve up and in towards the palm, curving into right about there. Now right on the side of the palm, we're gonna curve up and in towards the elbow. So the arm starts out wide by the wrist and goes in towards the elbow area. Let's take that arm and flip it over on the right side. So we start on the outside of the arm, curving out and then down. Now we're gonna draw on the first thumb, stepping over, curving around. Now we're just gonna curl this back around like a circle. Now we're gonna stack the first finger in behind this thumb. So at the bottom here, we're gonna curve around and then swirl that back in. At the top of this finger, we're just gonna draw a little hook going in. Now let's draw on the last finger. We're gonna swirl around again and pull that into right about there. Now at the top of this finger, we're gonna curve the palm going up and then over towards the right. Then again, from the elbow, we're gonna curve out 
and then back in behind the palm. Now we're gonna see a little bit of the forearm ridge on the side here. So let's start up here on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve going up and then back down. We're gonna leave a little space and then draw that again. We'll do the same thing on the right side. The final thing I'm gonna do is to add the large tail curling around behind the arm and then up on the right side. So we're gonna continue the abdomen coming down in behind the thigh. It'll continue right here on the outside, going up behind the hand, we'll curve up. Now I'm just gonna hook this back down, curving it down and slightly over towards the right. Now I'm just gonna taper this back in behind the body. Starting at the tip of the tail, I'm just gonna draw a little curve going around. Now we're gonna follow that same curve coming down in behind the arm. It'll continue behind the arm and behind the thigh. Now right up in here, we just wanna draw a little bit of a separation. So right here, we're gonna go up with an angle, come down, and then back up to the outside of the tail. Now I wanna go back up and draw in a separation in the horns. So right up here on the side, we're gonna come down an angle, and then go back up. Do the same thing on the right, coming down, and then back up, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Shadow Mewtwo from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.